So this is Rochester. This is one of my favorite towns. It's so underrated. Not many people talk about it, but there's a lot of history here. So the Romans came in 43 AD, but it wasn't until 1088 that the Normans turned it into a castle on the grounds of the Roman fort. The cathedral is the second oldest cathedral in the country, and Rochester is really known for its Charles Dickens history. They even have a Dickens Christmas festival, which is amazing, and you'll see lots of little things about Dickens kind of dotted around. But now, let me take you around, show you what you should do, what you should see, where you should eat, and you can just see how amazing this little town in England is. All right, come on. So here we are at the cathedral. It is so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of Notre Dame in Paris, um, just because of the way the, the building looks. But it's just so gorgeous. When you look at the details, you can tell just the history that is in it. So the Victorian High Street is made up of mainly local businesses, which is so awesome. Every third Sunday, there's also a farmer's market here. And during Christmas time, there's a fair on the grounds of the castle and the Dickens Festival. Kiss Kiss Heart is one of my fave high street shops. It is so many unique and trendy items. I bought an awesome palm tree vase here that I love. They also have some seriously sweet candy shops, really kind of old traditional ones, which is so awesome. My favorite being the candy bar with the gorgeous pink on the outside and lots of candy, jams, chutneys, fudge, honeycomb, and so much more inside. There's also Baggins Book Bazaar, also on the high street, which is England's biggest secondhand bookshop. It was closed this day that we went, but when we had gone before, when you think you've reached the end, it just keeps going. It is so cool. I also love the comic book store. It is so, so cool here. They just have a wide variety of amazing shops. They have also the Guildhall Museum, which happens to be free entry, which takes you on a trip through Medway's history. So that's definitely one of the things that you can do. A lot of it is generally sightseeing because it's such a beautiful place. You just have to keep walking around, seeing all the sights, just really appreciate it. It's so awesome. Now let's take you where you should eat. One of the things we've been loving doing recently is going to Chuck and Blade Burgers and getting one of their delicious cake or brownie slices and walking past the castle and gorgeous little side streets like Love Lane. Oh my goodness, I love Love Lane. And then we go, we sit on the hill which overlooks the river and it's just so lovely to be able to sit there. Another one of my faves is Fleur de Thé, where I've come to with, often with my friend Rebecca and we sit and have delicious tea here. There's such a variety of places to eat here, like the cheese room, of which we actually really need to properly sit down and try, and so many other cute little spots like food, glorious food, all oh, the just awesome looking stuff. I just can't wait to sit down and try it. I just love the look of food, glorious food as well with, with the leaning door and the leaning building is just so cool. So next door to the Guildhall Museum, there's Cafe Nucleus, which is a beautiful little cafe and where we finished our time in Rochester today. One of the things you have to get in the quintessentially British Rochester is a cream tea, of course. So I got scones with cream and jam, and I decided to be a little different and get the lemon and honey tea. This was delicious, and it was the perfect way to finish a day in Rochester. You're all calm, relaxed, having seen the beautiful sights and the beautiful place of Rochester. And that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching my little guide to the very underrated little town of Rochester.